Welcome to the show, everybody. Joseph Robert, the fantasy football counselor. In this video, we're talking about fantasy football 2020 wide receivers that could bust and players to avoid at the wide receiver position. You want to be cautious. You want to be aware of these guys because they could potentially bust. So be cautious when you are looking at drafting them. Let's get to the show. Welcome guys, we're talking about fantasy football wide receivers to avoid because they could potentially bust. I got a list of three or four or five guys here for you guys to take a look at and be cautious about when drafting, okay? Very, very important. Before I get into this show, guys, you know my mission, lion mentality, helping you guys stray away from the sheep and helping you guys win. That's my mission. All I ask is in return is that you smash a thumbs up, please, and leave a comment. We're gonna get back to as many questions as I can in the Q&A session, in our main show coming up this season and in the off season with me and Tim the Bald Guy. So leave your questions below. We're gonna shout you out and feature some of those questions, okay guys? So leave them below. Also guys, 16 round draft solution. It is available for pre-order. Lock in that rate right now at the lowest price. This is the game changer. Video training, I give you the optimal players to draft in each round. This is the game changer, guys. It helps people not only dominate their leagues, but destroy and crush their leagues to the point of championship and an embarrassment on the other league mates. You're going to dominate them and embarrass your league mates. Get the 16-round draft solution. You'll be light years ahead because I live and breathe this, and I give you guys the knowledge, the optimal players, everything you need, sleepers, breakouts in the 16-round draft solution. Link here below, and of course, at thefantasyfootballcouncil.com. Head on over there. All right, let's get into these guys to avoid these wide receivers and potential busts. Let's start off with the first one, Godwin and Mike Evans, okay? I want to tell you guys, yes, these guys are phenomenal talent, but I just want you to be cautious because right now the mainstream have these guys both in the top 10, sitting at six and seven in the consensus rankings. There's no way these guys are both going to finish at six and seven. I'll tell you guys why. Last year, Evans finished 15th. Godwin finished second. That's phenomenal. But you got to be cautious because it's very unlikely that both of them finish in the top 10. This is not Antonio Brown and Juju back in 2018. This is a different situation with possibly a new quarterback coming in. Again, by the time you guys listen to this, it's free agency time, and we don't know whether Winston's going to stay or not, okay? If Winston gets shipped off, they bring in another quarterback, that's really going to give you guys a lot of volatility with these two wide receivers. So one of them could easily finish the top 10. We don't know which one or how it's going to play out based on what quarterback's going to come in. So again, this is really predicated on the NFL draft and, of course, the, uh, the free agency. So be cautious when you are looking at these guys. Either way, even if they get an ace quarterback coming in, let's say Tom Brady ends up there, you got to still be cautious because there's only so many targets to go around and one is going to benefit a little bit more than the other and it's not going to give you that top three potential again because one's going to eat into the other. When you have two wide receivers that are in tandem that are equally as good, I'm always cautious about that because I always like the, the wide receiver that's really going to excel over the other one because you want more volume from the other one. It's going to give you more top five, top ten potential. So be aware, okay? All right, the next guy I want to talk about as a potential bust for 2020 fantasy football is Odell Beckham Jr. The mainstream, that kid Chiefs has told you to draft this guy in the first round three years in a row, and three years in a row, he's busted. Now, people thought I was crazy. They said, Joe, you're a little bit nuts. How can you say Landry is better than Odell? And sure enough, in 2019, Landry outperformed Odell Beckham Jr. And still, up to today, three years in a row, I'm seeing the Kinshipsis rankings as of March 2020. I'm still seeing Odell as a top 11 wide receiver, and Landry sitting at 31st. This is insane thinking, guys. Everyone just hoping and banking that this is the year of Odell Beckham Jr. Putting him at 11th after busting three years in a row. There is no excuses. There is no excuses. How can somebody draft this guy in the first round three years in a row and then tell you the mainstream told you the first year? First of all, the first year I said stay away. I was right the first year. People are like, Joe, Yo, you're nuts. Odell is first round potential. I'm like, no, 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 he's not that good. He's overrated. The second year, they said it again. This is the year of Odell. I'm like, no, 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 stay away. The third year, oh, now he's got Baker Mayfield. I said, no, be careful. Landry maxed out at 149 targets the year before with Mayfield. Now Odell's going to be there. How is there going to be enough targets to, to feed both Landry and Odell and make Odell a top wide receiver. There wasn't enough targets and I was warning people and I was screaming it. 
And yet people still like, Joe, you're nuts, man. And I'm telling you yet again, the fourth year in a row, Odell Beckham is not a top wide receiver. He is not that good. When will people realize it? How much more do I have to scream it? Do I have to stand on top of a, a rooftop and scream it? Odell Beckham Jr. is not a good wide receiver. Three years in a row busted. Now Landry maxed out last year in 2019 with 138 targets and 83 receptions. If things are staying the same, Mayfield, Landry, and Odell could still be there, okay? I don't know what's going to go on with Landry right now. This is pre-NFL uh, free agency and pre-NFL draft. He maxed out at 138 targets. How is Odell again going to max out and get 155, 170 targets and become a top wide receiver again? This is insane thinking. Do not draft Odell Beckham Jr. Let's move on. The next guy, DJ Moore. He is currently sitting now top 10 wide receiver because he had a good season last year. Listen, DJ Moore is not an ace wide receiver again. He is just not that good. The season before, he was 36th amongst wide receivers in PPR. He's a guy that I think is completely overrated, and I think Carolina is going to get another wide receiver. Not to mention, guys, they may draft another, like a new rookie wide receiver they're going to get, or maybe even acquire one in free agency. DJ Moore is not a wide receiver one, only 87 receptions. Yes, he had over 1,000 yard season, which is great, but they need an, a true wide receiver one. I don't think DJ Moore is just that good. I just don't think he's going to be that good, and he's currently sitting a top 10 wide receiver in the Ken Sheep says, Yes, Carolina needs to throw the ball more. Yes, Christian McCaffrey is not going to get 116 receptions like he did last year. Things are going to change. Quarterback situation suspect. There's no way I'm drafting this guy early, you know, second round. There's, there's just no way. And he's currently, as of right now, March, sitting as a top 10 wide receiver. Not worth it. Not going to pay the price. Give me a solid running back in the second or third round. Not going to get DJ Moore that early. There's no way. And I do not believe and I'm not sold he's going to be the guy. All right, so those are guys. Odell Keenan Allen, Godwin Evans, be careful. DJ Moore. Another guy, be cautious because, again, suspect quarterback situation. Is Tannehill coming back? What's going to happen? Are they going to get another wide receiver with the Titans? They're more of a run-heavy team with Henry. But A.J. Brown, yes, the upside is there. But be cautious. I think people are going to be paying a lot for A.J. Brown. The upside is there. I like him. I don't know if I'm going to pay the early price for him. So be cautious again with A.J. Brown for 2020 fantasy football. There you go, guys. I ranted. I raved. And again, wide receiver is a position you could definitely wait on. It's very deep for 2020. Load up on those RBs and do not invest too early, especially on the guys I mentioned here for 2020 fantasy football. They could be fantasy football busts. Be cautious. All right, guys. Make sure you guys smash the thumbs up, subscribe, leave your questions below, and of course, get that 16-round draft solution available at thefantasyfootballcouncil.com or a link below. Thanks, guys, for being here. Lion mentality, and my mission is for you guys to win. That's what I'm all about. Smash the thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.